Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use land call but my products way fucking better shoot stack hey, cheddar hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode uh, another episode I know you've been waiting for another episode I know you've been waiting yeah To another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I am Lord Shoot X. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, the way to spell it is literally underneath my face. You should check it out. Got some great things on there, got some products on there, got some music on there. Videos of myself, including this Twitch channel, which if you haven't made a Twitch and you are someone who doesn't have a Twitch and you watching from the outside, make a channel, subscribe to your boy's channel, and turn on the notifications so when I go live, you'll be able to catch this awesome intro I created. So we're going to try something different today, y'all. Um, first... Hey, how are y'all? Uh, I hope everybody's having a good day, a decent day. As y'all can see, I'm green because I want y'all to look at me and feel peace within your heart space. I'm the green man today. I'm gonna help you open up this heart chakra today. We ain't dropping no frames today. So, um, if you rocking with me right now, for those who are watching, uh, first, we're going to do a little meditation to open up your heart space today. So I'm going to teach y'all a little mudra. It's called <laughs> the prayer mudra. So what you're going to do? Make sure you got some space on both sides of you. <clears throat> Hold on, let me fix my cloak real quick because I was sitting on the tail end of it. So I just want everybody to close their eyes. Well, don't close your eyes yet. First, I'm going to show y'all how to do this move. So we're going to extend our arms out like so. Reach all the way up. And then we're gonna bring our hairs together and bring your hands together into a prayer position into your heart center, okay? So let's try this again. One more time and when you bring your arms out, I want you to inhale and take a gentle inhale first. And then we'll do this two more times and we'll take some deep inhales because I want y'all to challenge the body and connect the mind with the body, all right? So inhale when we take our arms out. So. And exhale as we bring the hands down to the heart center. All right, so we're gonna do this two more times. So. Reach your hands all the way up. And then inhale as you're bringing them up. And then exhale as you're bringing them down the heart center. All right. 
Y'all gotta do this next one on your own, okay? You can breathe out your nose, out your mouth, doesn't matter. We're just gonna do a few more of these. Calm the mind, relax your face. Relax your eyes. And then just kind of breathe. Keep your hands here at your heart center. Just kind of breathe normally. You know, uh, you can focus your gaze on something, or you can focus your gaze on the symbols that's in the slideshow next to my face. Or you can just focus on the green tint of my skin. Because you know that's good for the heart shot. So today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep everything pretty peaceful not gonna not gonna get too crazy today we're just gonna keep shit peaceful today and we're just gonna breathe at our normal tempo right now while we got our heart got our hands at heart center and prayer pose and just breathe just breathe for a little bit now the next thing I want y'all to do is if you are all right so i want y'all to rock with me real quick so everybody get comfortable if you need a pillow under your ass go grab one because right now we're gonna we're gonna meditate together all right y'all so you can sit in lotus position aka crisscross applesauce I'm gonna get in lotus position. Make sure that you're any, if you got any extra meat under your ass for, for some of you thickies, which ain't nothing wrong with being thick, you know what I'm saying? More cushion for the pushing. All right. And don't mind what I'm doing right now. You know, I just gotta get, get all my vortexes, my vortices together. Which, if you want, you know, you just just kind of move the body around a little bit so that when you finally get settled in your meditative position, you're not moving too much because I want y'all to stay focused with me. And I'm going to keep my eyes open, but I want y'all to slowly butterfly your eyes closed when we get ready to start this meditation, okay? So, um, basically today what we're going to do is a meditation before I start speaking on some things today. But I just want to connect with you on a deeper level. And I want to also help you ground. And I want to help you um, come from the heart center today. So that you realize that I do love you. And that everything is going to be alright. And... Every day, there's a new obstacle for us to become our highest self. So, let's get it. Now, I'm going to show you a new mudra. The first one I showed you was a prayer pose mudra. I'm going to show you a grounding mudra. So, you know how when most people meditate, their hands are like this, right? Now, instead of having your hands on top of your thighs which is probably the most comfortable position you can have this in. I want you to put your hands, instead of them being like this, turn them this way. And set them on top of your knees so that they're hanging over. And relax them, you know? You don't have to keep your fingers super straight or, you know, your your when you touch your thumb to your pointing finger, it doesn't have to be super touching. They can almost not be touching. You touch your fingertips to feel the pulse of your heart. And that's why I would recommend that you touch your pointing finger to your thumb so that we can connect with our hearts so that our mind and our body and our hearts are aligned. All just by doing this simple mudra. Or as they say, mudra. <laughs> so we're going to put our hands on our kneecaps basically hanging over and everybody just butterfly your eyes closed and just breathe your normal breath and listen to my voice and 
a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn off the music. Or I'll just turn it down. How about that? I'll turn it down even more. In fact, I think I turned it down so much that you can't even hear it. <laughs> All right, so you can do three things. You can focus on the slideshow that's next to my face. You can focus on my skin, or you can simply butterfly your eyes closed for this meditation. For those entering into the live now, we're gonna practice a meditation. And you can do this anywhere. Uh, just put your hands in the normal position that you would normally do as a meditation, but instead of them facing up, face them down. And we'll begin our meditation. Now, smile. Soften your gaze. Breathe gently through the nose. And breathe gently out of the nose. Don't breathe through your mouth, okay? Breathe through your nose at your own pace. sure that you sitting up nice and tall with your shoulders relaxed your face is relaxed your mind is relaxed relax your hips relax your hands Breathe through the nose. Smiling. Whatever thoughts, worries, let them pass through. Any thoughts of the day? Let them pass through. Be an open channel. Relax your face, your jawline. Relax your gaze, smiling. Relax your tongue as you breathe. belly feel the rise and the fall of your chest within yourself that everything is good. Everything is great. to self. Now, as your eyes 
eyes are closed. Imagine a golden light over your body. And I want you to scan each area of your body with this golden light. And I will guide you through the scanning process. We will begin with the head. Start from the top of your head. Slowly through the forehead, scanning with a golden bright light. chin, the throat chakra, your collarbone. golden light changing from gold to neon pink from your collarbone to your upper chest to the mid chest Continue to breathe through the nose at your own pace. The sternum. To the bottom of your rib cage. neon pink light changing from neon pink to a bright golden light again scanning from your upper stomach Pubic mound and the hips. Your genitalia. tailbone, breathing at your own pace, the upper thigh. 
die. Smiling, smiling. The thighs and the knees. shins and your calves sinking deeper and deeper into self smiling your ankles and your feet golden light your toes and the ground underneath you now this golden light surrounds you all around golden light surrounding your entire body healing your toy story Breathing at your own pace. Smiling. Your vibration is increasing. Now, simply relax. You can open your eyes whenever you're ready. pretty good and I'll show you another mudra and then we're going to end this meditation this next mudra is the mudra of Ganesh which is a pretty good one if you're feeling like there's just something that you can't get through or you're feeling as if you've done all that you can and that Reality seems to be creating something from your vibration. So we're going to break that. Because you can always do more. So, we're going to take our hands. We're going to take our left hand like this, facing outside. And we're going to take our right hand, and we're going to bring it around the front. 
So your right hand should be in the front like this. And your left hand should be back here, behind it, facing frontwards. Okay? You're gonna lock your hands together, like so. Like you're giving yourself a dap, like we in the hood, dapping each other up. And this is Ganesha's mudra. So, now you have your hands locked together and you're gonna pull from opposite direction. So it should feel like you're doing a tug of war with yourself. And you're gonna pull. If this is hard, that means the obstacle that you're trying to get through is a tough one, but pull. Breathe. Don't focus on the obstacle. Focus on your breathing. Soften your gaze and smile. You can stare at my face. You can stare at the symbols next to my face. Or you can simply just close your eyes and pull. Take a deep breath. Feeling from the belly to the lungs. And exhale. All the way until your belly is flat. And we're gonna do this three more times while still pulling, okay? So let's get it. When you breathe in, when you inhale, pull. When you exhale, release the pull. times y'all Lift our arms up as high as we can. Inhaling. And bring our hands into prayer pose. And bring our hands to heart center. And exhale. Now just relax for a bit. Because I know that's low key like a workout. We're just going to relax for a moment. And just breathe. I require nothing from you except just to breathe and relax. I'm always here for you, okay? Never forget that. Our time together is very special to me.
so the green made Asar Serenunos Dionysus. Neath, Gev, you, I, This life was a decision that we made together when we were together and there was no separation. You and I Finding each other again shows you that concept that we're supposed to be together again. This decision, though it may be filled with many trials, Each test is for you and I to become one again. Every day that we awaken in this material realm is a chance for us to become that much closer. It's a chance for us to become one. This concept applies to all things. Every day we awaken, we are given a chance to become closer and one with the things, the people, the situation, everything. We are given a chance again every day that we awaken. In the illusions that are presented before us are created by ourselves. One can simply live in these illusions or one can realize that this is merely self, seeing if self wants to break through to another side, to another dimension of oneself. We can work together to do this, but to truly grow one must dig deep into self and understand all the things that makes one feel separated from self. When we ignore these tests, we are simply ignoring ourselves. When someone comes into your life that is merely yourself coming into your life. When you get a new job or you get a new puppy or a new pet, all of these opportunities are merely the self. 
every day we're presented with these opportunities to grow and in that growth comes emotions emotions are a grading scale to that growth we must sift through what they really mean to oneself to experience these emotions but to understand what they are teaching Every day we're given a chance to understand these emotions, to understand where these emotions are leading us to, listen to them, but do not become the emotions. They are a voice. The emotions when one does not understand self can be misguided. Every day we are given a chance to understand self. And remember, if we are all one and we are working every day and given a chance every day to go back to the one. That means we must understand not only ourselves, but we must understand ourselves and others to truly gain the growth that we seek. Let's cast our egos aside only when needing to be protected, yes, do we need our egos. Our egos keep us safe from things that threaten our lives, as does our root and sacral or sacral chakra, protecting us. But you can never protect yourself from the self. The self is to be experienced totally, 100% completely. Always keep in mind though, one can become detached very easily from ego and emotion. Having an understanding of self and knowing ways to empower oneself from that studying and taking the growth can help one to their own self-realization. We all are given a chance every day to love to not be afraid to love, to stand up for that love. That is what the ego is for, to be strong within that love. Granted some better than others, but we, we don't base ourselves on the progress of others. Nah, this isn't a cult. This is just simply a meditation for helping one open their heart up to make sure that we don't get lost in the illusions of this world by being afraid of expressing oneself and making sure that 
we're growing within ourselves. That's all. No cult here. At least not yet. <laughs> How do you join the cult? <laughs> well, first you got to join the cult of yourself. In order to join my cult, <laughs> you have to join your cult. And if you do not follow your own code and law of ethics, then I can't help you because it takes one knowing themselves what to sacrifice. Well, I don't really require a sacrifice to get into my cult, but if you need the, to sacrifice something for your cult, then you come up with those rules and laws. Now, if you are interested in hidden information, well, this stream that you stumbled into <laughs> is about the green man philosophy and opening your heart to love and not being afraid to love. And the color green and the color pink and the symbols next to my face actually help in that process. No, the green man is a philosophy. Green man philosophy is about always having a never ending thirst for learning about oneself. There's a lot of things around us in this world that try to trick us because we don't know about ourselves. So when you don't know yourself, it's easy to be tricked. If you want to, I wouldn't recommend sacrificing a goat though, considering goats really aren't sacrificial animals. Usually you sacrifice humans. But as I said, there is no sacrifice to get into my cult. There is only a sacrifice to get into your cult if you feel the need to have that as a thing. But I don't believe in the normal concept of what people portray as a God because if we're all one, that would mean that you're a God, I'm a God, the people watching this stream is a God. <laughs> I believe in oneness of heart which is what this stream is about. Opening your heart. Hmm. You could. I mean, I have this stream here. <laughs> they can watch it as well. If you know them, you should tell them to make a Twitch account and that they should subscribe and turn on the notifications so when I go live, for my next stream, they should watch it. They should especially watch this one. This was a good stream. Opening the heart is hard, as you can see. Many people find themselves in a position to say things from a place of fear and misunderstanding. But that's why we, as individuals, have to soften our gaze, like the meditation earlier, soften our jawline and soften our posture so that we can bring in the energy of people that matter and dispel the energy of the people that don't serve us to what isn't a part of our purpose. And everyone's purpose is um, individual to them. Oh no, you don't have to, you don't have to use an instrument. This is something that you can do with simply just breathing 
Yeah, you don't have to use a knife. You don't have to use any kind of tool to open your heart chakra. All you have to do is sit with yourself in a place where you feel like no one can disturb you and just breathe. And any thoughts that come into your mind, any emotions that you feel, any visions that you may have, just let them pass by and sink deeper into yourself. And as you do this, you can chant a mantra or you can come up with your own chant or you can just say, I love myself. I love myself. I love me. Or you can say your name. I love whatever your name be, may be. You can say that too. But just know that when you say, I love the green man, all you're saying is you love yourself. <laughs> so you can name yourself whatever you want. The green man is you. You are the one that finds your philosophy in your life, your individual path. Okay, well, the easiest way to serve oneself is by simply doing for self. Being a mother to yourself, nurturing yourself. Green, plants, nature, mother nature. Nurturing oneself and working hard to set good, healthy boundaries. I mean, there isn't really a green man God. There is deities that you can align with. And if you would like some examples, I will give them, give you some. Matter of fact, I'll type them in the chat. If you want to worship a green deity or a pay homage or offering to a green deity, I'll give you some deities. I actually said them uh, right before you hopped in this chat. Geb, Sir Nunos, Dionysus, Neith, this is a female deity. Neith is a, she is an comedic deity. And by comedic, I mean Egyptian. <laughs> so if you're into primordial women, <laughs> um, hmm. When you sacrifice people, you should say your own name. You shouldn't say the names of other deities because you give them power. The point of the sacrifice is to give you power. Right? <laughs> the never-ending knowledge that is around us by simply observing every day it never ends because we live in an infinite universe and no matter what people around us all the time will try to take away from the things that we work hard on but you cannot falter and you cannot judge these people for not understanding. We have to be soldiers. We have to be warriors of the heart and work hard because that's why we're here, to work hard, to be able to look past the illusions of another's misunderstanding of themselves and their heart and to have the strength within ourselves to help them stand tall 
All things, all else things must fall to the wayside. Who's hotter? Neith or Freya? Well, considering that they're spiritual beings, I would say they are equally as hot. But if we were going off of historical cases, his story, I would probably say neither of them are hot because you're probably hotter than both of them. Considering you want to sacrifice a human, you should probably look at yourself in the mirror as you're sacrificing this human and say your name and I think you'll be all right. But this is for your cult now, okay? If you want, yeah, you see? Exactly. This is how you raise the Kundalini energy or your sexual creative energy. Look at yourself in the eyes as you're making this sacrifice. And you don't even have to sacrifice people. If you're really a strong wizard or witch, you could sacrifice an energetic signature. So it's just that simple. <laughs> always, always remember that people are gonna find ways to um, make you come out of your strength and make you feel weak. But that's only because they don't know themselves. When you know yourself, it's easy to stand in that power. <laughs> sacrifice a light bulb. <laughs> you could sacrifice a light bulb. All of these things have energetic signatures. All of these things are built from atoms. Same things that you're made from. All it takes is setting an intention on the things that you want to set an intention on. Nah, these, this is great. You don't even have to say nothing 11 11. <laughs> Cause this is exactly why we did this stream today. Because people are always gonna try and ask a question about things that they don't understand. We, in the position that you and I are in, have to understand that we have to be the people to guide by being ourselves. I'm on this stream being myself. This, these type of people come in here and they have questions. This is someone who may not understand what they're watching. So we want, we want open dialogue like this in here. I like these questions. These are good questions. So, <laughs> honestly, it's not even about a cult anymore. It's about how we can work together to help answer our own questions that we have with each other. Every day, People are gonna question us about things that we really care about, that they may not understand. In some cases, it might be a joke to them, you know? But that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with these questions because at the end of the day, I want you to have an understanding so that in the future, when you find, if you ever end up going into another stream like this you may know what's going on but i doubt you'll find a stream like this anywhere because i'm lord shoe x and you watching another episode of lord of perfected work if you haven't been to my website shoelovesrebels.com which is underneath my face you should check it out because if you got more questions or you want to 
join my cult, then follow me on Instagram at Shoe Loves Rebels LLC. You can follow my Facebook page. I'm on there pretty actively, posting information about everything and anything, including the knowledge of the world around us and the knowledge of self. So I don't want you to feel like you can't ask these questions, Perea Pill, because I'm glad you asked these questions today. I like this shit. I love this shit. I appreciate you for coming into this chat as well. Because soon more people will be coming into these chats and they will have equally as many questions as you do. And I don't want you to feel like you're not welcome in this chat, okay? So if you really fucking with my cult, the cult of the green man, then you should uh, subscribe and check back in for the next stream because it's only going to get better, my my person. <laughs> and as my channel increases and the more of y'all come in here, I'm not going to switch up. I'll never give up on anybody who watches this stream, all right? And the people who come in here and show genuine interest in what I'm doing, y'all always welcome to ask questions, all right? So don't feel like uh, I don't have time for anybody. I'm a busy man, don't get me wrong. I'm a busy woman too, but I'm not, I'm not too busy to hit y'all up. I used to make that excuse that, oh, I'm too busy, I can't hit you up. But when you really love somebody, you make the time. And when you really care about people, you gotta stand strong in who you believe in to be able to make those changes that you desire happen. But like I said on my previous streams, the desire is a life of pain. So don't desire. All you can do is be the loving person that you are that I know that you are. Be loving, open your heart, and don't be afraid of anything because fear is what leads us to a place of desire. And that desire is what leads people to a life of pain where they just feel like there is no answer, there's no way out. But just know, even in your heart, that the path out of this pain that you seem to be feeling is there in that heart space, okay? And there's people around you, even if it's just me, that supports and cares about you and loves you, I always have your back, no matter what. Life is about cycles, up and down. Every day, new things change and new things happen. We can't get caught up in those illusions when we have people around us that really care about us, really love us, and that understand what the true heart really is. Sometimes others may portray that in a different way, but that's where us opening our hearts and opening our minds will help us gain a better understanding of each other. And soon one day, the things that we wish to see in the world will begin to happen by simply just doing. We don't have to keep pushing. Pushing is force. We don't have to force love. Love is something that we are, something that we live. So, appreciate y'all rocking with me today. I already done went past my damn stream time. <laughs> and I'm so damn calm right now that I could probably fucking meditate for an hour the way I'm feeling. But I meditated, 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 twat. I'm a twat. I already done meditated a few times today, so. <laughs> I'ma just probably chill, watch some anime for a little bit. Maybe take a spirit bath. I don't know what y'all think. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate everybody watching the stream today. I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Peace. I say. I say. I say. <laughs>